everybody, it's Gamalad. Welcome back to Let's Play Stella Glow. In the last episode, we spent most of our time doing free time and finding out more about Lizette and Archibald. Now, if my voice sounds a bit weird this episode, I'm starting to lose my voice for whatever reason, so not really sure why. I'm not really feeling sick or anything, but I just started going as the evening went on, so hopefully I have enough voice to get through this episode. And if not, well, hey, sorry about that. <clears throat> Uh, you hear me drinking water a lot in the background because I'm trying to clear my throat and whatnot, but hey, let's go. I'm ready. Yes, re hopefully we are. Excellent. Please speak to me when you are ready to leave. Oh, I could have just... Oh, that was a very odd cut I did. Okay. Mission time. So we can either depart or go and stock up on some materials, but I think we are ready to go. So, let us depart for our mission. <clears throat> Okay, so we're back to the world map overview. View. Cool. Alright, oh, we got a lot of paths opening up. A new destination appeared. Alright, cool. The witches are our highest priority. There are a number of them in the in the Regnant. If you feel you needed to train, it would be best, it'd be best for you to battle monsters. Yes, sir. Tutorial, free missions. Locations with monster icons indicate the availability of, availability of free missions. Time does not pass during free missions. Be sure to under undertake free missions when you need to increase your level. Alright, cool. Uh, oh, no, we don't want to go that way. But, um, let's see. Monster suppression. Monsters have infested the forest around Mistra. Defeat them immediately. Okay, maybe a little later, but let's go see what's at hand. Nothing here. Nothing here. And the mission ahead. Now for, now for win. Destination, Port Noir. The Knife Regiment progresses towards the wind region. Alright, let's see how we do. If we lose horribly, we'll just go back and train. Huh? Do you want to enter this area? Battle will not occur. Are we not going to battle? Okay. Let's see where this takes us then, basically. <clears throat> oh, it's really nice, actually. So this is the South Valley, huh? It's sunny. It has a pretty nice breeze. Hmm? They're all so oh, the air smells different. That is a sense of the ocean, Lizette. The ocean winds pass through here. South Valley is also known as the Wind State. There are many harbor towns along the coast. Ships from all over the world sail here. It's a it's a mecca for sailors. The salty air can rust your weapons. Be sure to take good care of them. I, I will. Very good. Now let's head to Port Noir. <clears throat> Port Noir, Port Noir. Not really sure. Okay, that was pretty interesting. A little bit of a story break. Your destination has appeared. Okay. Well, a battle... Okay, the party has arrived at Port Noir and decides to gather information on the Wind Witch. Okay. Battle will not occur either. Okay. So, more story progression on finding out where is this witch could possibly be. Oh, that looks really nice. Port Noir, Harbor Town. Okay. I, I, can, I can dig it. Wow! What a lively town! Hey, look! There's a circus tent in the square! It's a really happening place for such a remote town. I remember it being run down just a few years ago. Now then, we need to gather information. Let's go to the circus. I'm pretty sure there's plenty of information at the circus. Let us head to the town hall. We will speak with the mayor first. Yes, Commander. So no one's going to complain about the circus? Hmm. What's going on over there? Wow. All those people are holding up wads of cash. They're buying and selling really expensive items at that street stall. What you are witnessing is called an auction. What's that? At an auction, individuals sell their wares to the highest bidder. Usually it's just a lot of junk. But sometimes, you find a real steal. I'm gonna check it out. Rusty, we are in the middle of a mission here. Hey, Archibald, you never know. We can get a very rare weapon from that auction that could help us out. Don't be so uptight. <laughs> and of course he just walks off anyway. Does that mean we can go to the circus now? I'll pay fifteen hundred gold for that vase. Sounds a bit over overpriced for a vase. What? Then I'll pay two thousand gold for it. Two thousand gold for that piece of crap? You idiot. That vase would sell for a ton back at the capital. Hmm. You have a keen eye for value, despite how you look. Are you talking to us? What? Who the hell are you, kid? 
Yeah, that's a good question. Who is this kid? Oh, wow, it's really cool art. My name is Ewan, and I'm not a kid. Yes, you are. Kid seems about right for a pretentious little punk like you. <laughs> Rusty holds nothing back. Wow, the Regnant Knights sure do live up to their reputation. What did you just say? Oh, look, the next item is up for bid. Next up is a very rare blue pearl cultured from a wind towel shell. Doesn't seem worth it. Man, that's a real treasure. It's worth way more than that face. The starting bid is 3,000 gold. Do I have any takers? 5,000 gold. Are you crazy? 5,000? Just watch and learn. I'm going to make a small fortune off of this. And this kid's going to outbid you. 5,000 gold. Do I hear 5,500? I bid 5,500 gold. Hey, kid. Sure you didn't add an extra zero in there? Ooh. Don't oh, worry well. about me, old timer. Didn't anyone ever teach you to respect your elders? 6,000. 6,500. Why, oh, you little... Picking a fight with this child? How can you call yourself a knight? Archibald, it's called a bidding war. Go on eBay. You'll find plenty of them. Kids, women, who cares? If they want to fight, I'll fight them. Hey, hey, at least he's an equal opportunist fighter. 10,000 gold. 10,000 gold. Anyone I else? I think he is overpaid How for that, you, Rusty. Young man? The market value of that blue pearl is around 9,000 gold at best. I would never pay 10 for it. I'm done bidding. What? Of course. Hey, old timer, if you think that pearl is worth 10,000 gold, then you should be happy. You have a keen eye, remember? You little punk, you jacked up the price on me. That should be illegal, but people do it. Oh, and that vase was a knockoff. You should study up before you participate in any more auctions. All right, maybe I'll see you around. Yeah, you probably sell it for some sucker for equal price we paid for. Rusty, you were, as they say, just taken to the cleaners. <laughs> Bastard. Commander, lend me some money. Very well. You can pay me back later. Atta boy, Commander. I knew I could count on you. There's no need to thank me, Rusty. I will simply take it out of your paycheck. With interest, of course. That's not how it works. <laughs> we have wasted enough time. Let us go to the town hall. We can take it out of our paycheck of interest. Let's make any. Uh, let's, let's do a little bit over time, but still. I would just sell it back and cut my losses, I guess. The Regnant Knights, you say? Yes. I don't mean to offend, but do you have any identification? I'm pretty sure our armor would be good enough, and we got in here without any fuss. We have this. That is the Royal Seal. Well, of course. We are from the capital now, aren't we? I apologize for my apprehension. I'm Bonanza, the mayor of this town. I'd like to have the townspeople give you a proper welcome to Port Noir. That's all right. We are on a secret mission, so I will get right to it. A secret mission, you say? This is a very peaceful town. We don't have any troublemakers here. No, but do you have any witches? Is there any truth to the rumors that there is a witch residing here? Uh, a witch? So then, it's true. Of course it is. This town has suffered greatly at the hands of that evil wind witch. Is she that bad? She's worse than bad. Can't be as bad as Hilda. For all she did here, she might as well be the Witch of Destruction. She wrecked homes, spread illness, and roiled the sea with her wind. The trade ships weren't able to make port. Our economy was in shambles. That's terrible. And yet, despite all that, your town still seems to prosper. Well, I don't want to brag, but... Uh, our success is all due to me being mayor. Well, gee, I, that doesn't sound suspicious at all. I permanently exiled that vile wind witch. You permanently exiled her? Well, then she must have not done that much badness. I mean, if you t tolerated her living there for so long. Many of the townspeople called for her to be executed. I may be hard on crime, but I couldn't do that. She's still a girl. Oh, come on. Rusty is at least an equal opportunist. I'm just not that cruel. After that, 
The townsfolk work together to rebuild the economy. That's impressive. And where is the witch now? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't seen her since she was exiled. I would have at least have someone keep an eye on her. You never know what could happen. Hopefully she's avoiding trouble and living her life quietly somewhere. So now we gotta investigate the town, I'm assuming. It seems to be true that the witch is residing in this town, but we have no clue as to where. Sounds like she's quite a handful to boot. And even an evil woman who's a, who's a match of the great witch Hilda. I wonder if she really does all those terrible things to the townspeople, though. I guess witches are hated no matter where they go. I'm pretty sure it was all coincidence, really. What's that? Um, excuse me. Oh, that boy from earlier. That punk. You, the old timer with the keen eye. I'll buy that blue pearl from earlier today for 10,000 gold. How does that sound? Heh, <laughs> runch. You're not buying it yourself now? Come on, it's only worth 9,000 gold no matter how you look at it. I feel like he's trying to scam us again and try to end this market up the price by like 100,000 gold or something. You can take it take it to a pawn if you shop if you need proof. Why would you buy it from me then? Rusty, calm down and consider the situation more carefully. What do you mean? That blue pearl belonged to this merchant from the beginning. In fact, he was the one who, who, ma who was managing the auction. Correct. I would have expected nothing less from you, Commander Klaus. I'm honored to be acknowledged by you, Mr. Elwin. Oh, Commander? You know him? Elwin? Ah, I understand now. What? I'm confused too. Elwin Inc. is a merchant company that spans even the farthest reaches of the kingdom. Have you ever heard of it? Ewan Inc. We have a traveling merchant that comes to the village from time to time. Was that... <laughs> Thank you for your patronage. This is the shrewd CEO who created the biggest merchant merchantile house in the region in just three years. Didn't think I'd be a kid, huh? No, but the truth of the matter became quite apparent after the auction earlier. This was too difficult an op opponent for even you, Rusty. You cannot hope to defeat a business expert. So I was dancing on top of his palm the whole time. You know you know not to judge based on appearance, right? You're so small though. I'll grow soon enough. Intelligence relative is is neither to neither height nor age. I see. Take the scratch blue pearl and with treat it if we treat it to blemish in the latest styles, the value will rise. The value the value of everything people and people and things is decided based on the economy. It is the economy that rules the world. It is the power of the of God to sing within money. Oh, wow. Okay, kid. Do you understand? <laughs> yeah! Fla? And why is my phone going off in the recording? What are you doing? Don't pull my hair all of a sudden. Sorry. You seem so smart. I thought I'd maybe you were a fox in disguise. How rude. I'm a human being, thanks. Oh, I get the story. Come on. You messed up my coat. Why have you come and contact us, and in, <clears throat> in this roundabout manner, no less? I didn't know if you were all going to the to the uh, to be meathead, so I tested you a bit. I'm impressed. You know a lot more of, yeah, than my initial investigation implied, Rusty. Why? Why are you so arrogant? But who am I most impressed with? Was the commander of the Ninth Regiment? I'm glad we're on the same page. I am honored. Well, what is your impression of this town? It is too prosperous for a harbor town of this size. You have surely noticed the same. Of course. Big ships can't dock in the harbor, and there are no special local goods or tourist attractions. How did a town like, get, like this get so wealthy in a sh short amount of time? What are you trying to say? I want to know why. The curiosity of a merchant, you could say. I told you there is something very suspicious going on with this town. We're outsiders in this town. Shouldn't we share information? Indeed, that is an excellent idea. Thank you. I'm a merchant, so even information is subject to, subject to give and tr take transactions. I'll give you some information now in place of introducing myself. Go to the Windy Hills to the north of here. You might find something out. The Windy Hills? Well, I off. Hope, hope you have something to give me when, you, when I see you next. So are you going to take him on his offer, Rusty? Kids these days. For a little person, wait, I'm not supposed... I'm not supposed to say that. He's so dependable and responsible. 
De dependable? Don't you mean sassy? What should we do, Commander? Information from Ewan Inc. should be reliable. We shall investigate the Windy Hills at once. Alright. And we got the Windy Hills! No battles! We'll all feel the battle next time I f in this area up ahead. Let's take a look. Uh, yes, there will be a battle required level 5. I think I may have to do some grinding off screen. So, next time on Let's Play Stella Glow, we'll be going off to the Windy Hill, seeing what lies there, and to see if Ilwin Inc.'s information was reliable to us at all. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, be sure to check out the other parts of this series, and let me know if you guys think this series so far down in the comments section below. And as always, everyone, this is Gamma Lad signing off.